Okay guys, I promised you that I was going to shoot a series of videos showing a Carolina Reaper seed germination test. This will be the first video in a multi-part video series doing just that. And in this first video, what I wanted to do is show you the, uh, the seeds that I'm going to be using and what, what you can expect when you order seeds. I've ordered seeds from six different companies, all of them Carolina Reapers. I'll be planning all of these to show which ones uh, germinate the fastest, which ones produce the best plants, and then later in the year, hopefully showing you which ones produce the, uh, the best looking Carolina Reaper pods. So that's what I'm showing in this video, so let's get started. Here, first company is one called Tyler Farms. There you go. That's what you get when you order from them. It's a, just a basic little uh, plastic bag zipped at the top. Tells you their uh, website address. 30 Carolina Reaper Seeds. Nothing fancy. Just basically just that little bag and then their business card. Okay, so that's Tyler Farms. All right. Next, we have a company called Pepperhead.com. Again, pretty basic. Just the uh, seeds, their website address, a little plastic bag with the seeds in it. Come shipped in just a standard padded envelope. So that is Pepperhead.com. All right. Next, this is probably one that you've all have heard of. Pepper Joe's. Order Carolina Reaper seeds from them. They actually send you a couple of packets when you order from them. Well, they did me. I just ordered the Carolina Reaper seeds. So they sent me those, a little, little envelope with the seeds. But they also sent me one called the Charleston that I've never heard of. And another one called the... Bootla Bubblegum 7-Pot Chocolate. Again, I've never heard of that particular variety of pepper. And then they send you this. It's kind of advertising their, uh, it's like their uh, hot sauce. And they also give you a free dried Carolina Reaper pod. Looks like there's actually two pods in that little bag. It's got some seeds in that. I don't know if those seeds are viable or not because I don't know if they air dry these or if they if they dry them in an oven. I've heard if they dry them in an oven that the heat will make the seeds not viable. But I might plant these and see what happens. Again, they just send it in just a standard envelope. So that is Pepper Joe's. Okay. Next. We have one from a company called Sonoran Spice Company. I was really impressed with them as far as, as how they package and, and what all they send you. They package the seeds in this kind of like a metallic red looking package. Again, zip locked at the top. Company name on there. And the seeds come in this little kind of like a heavy plastic case that screwed on at the top. I thought that was very impressive. They, uh, this is something that you could reuse. I'm gonna hang on to this and probably reuse this for seed storage. It's just, it's got the uh, screw on top. Very impressed with that. They don't use just a standard plastic bag. They actually give you a little container. You a little cup holder with their company's logo on it. And they also give you this. This is like a little keychain. Um, with a screw on top, and it's actually got spice in it. I'm not sure what kind of spice it is. Uh, I don't think it's Carolina Reaper spice. But uh, that's pretty cool, too. So that is what you can expect if you order from the Norn Spice Company. All those goodies. Okay. Next, I'm, we have another one I'm sure you've all heard of. And that is from... Puckerbutt Pepper Company. Ed Curie's company. Ed Curie, of course, father of the Carolina Reaper. 
Um, out of the six companies that I ordered from, this is the only one that I have ordered from in the past. The rest of them, this was my first time ordering, but I have ordered from Pucker Butt uh, Paper Company before. Well, that's what you can expect if you order from them. Again, just a standard orange envelope with the seeds inside of them and their business card. So that's Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Okay. And then we have one from, this is called the uh, Sandia Seed Company. Never ordered from them before. This is what you get when you order from them. Just uh, basically it looks like a seed packet like you, you would purchase in the store, like burpee seeds or something. And then they give you this little thing with their, it says get spicy with their website address on it. And then I think this is just some information telling you how to uh, grow the seeds. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's Sandia Seed Company. One thing I did kind of find uh, kind of odd about this, if you notice on the, the seed packets look identical, but if you look a little closer, this one says it's got 10 seeds. This one says it's only got eight. So I don't know if, if they just kind of, uh, if they actually give you 10 seeds and they just put eight on there on these older packets. I don't know if it's an older style or a new style or what, but I just, I found that kind of odd. One says it's got 10 seeds. The other one says it's only got eight. What I'm probably gonna do in this case is uh, probably do like half and half and I plant these. Maybe take like um, five from one, five from another one. And we'll, uh, we'll see how the uh, seeds from the Sandia Seed Company do. There you have it. Six different companies. I'm gonna plant all of these and we're gonna see which ones germinate the fastest. So please stay tuned to my channel. I will be posting part two of my Carolina Reaper seed germination test here in uh, probably two or three days. Thanks for watching.